Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Dear students, let's discuss the next topic that is functional group region and fingerprint region. We all know that the mid IR region is very very important to identify the different kinds of the functional groups which are present in the variety of organic molecules. What is the region? 625 centimeter inverse to 4000 centimeter inverse, right? This region is divided into some portions, right? Already we had seen that the vibrational frequencies, stretching and bending frequencies of different kinds of the bonds which are present in the organic molecules. Let us see this one. The region in between 3000 to 4000 centimeter inverse, what we are observing, the stretching frequencies of a OH group of alcohol, OH of carboxylic acid, NH group. So we have seen that the values are 3100 to 3300, 3200 to 3400 like that or not. So all the stretching frequencies of these bonds are observed in what? In this range. Next, in case of aldehydes, we are having the CH stretching frequency or not. That is around 3000 centimeter inverse or not. So in between 2000 to 2500 and 100, we are observing what? Alkyne C, triple bond C, nitriles, isonitriles and these kind of pi bonds along with what? Fermi resonance, Wawerton and hot pants. All kind of frequencies are observed between 2000 to 2500 centimeter inverse. Next, in case of 1500 to 2000 centimeter inverse, main C double bond of group which is present in different kinds of the carbonyl compounds. Aldehydes, ketones, esters, amides. In all the cases, the C double bond O stretching frequency is in between what? This value or not? Along with C double bond and H, C double bond H and NO2 nitro group asymmetric stretching frequency will be in this range. So, if you observe 1000 to 1500, we are having the vibrations or frequencies of these bonds. Less than 1000, always we are observing what? Bending vibrations of CH bond. So, in between 625 to 4000, we are observing different kinds of the vibrations due to which we are having different kinds of frequencies. This overall region is divided into two portions. What are those? the fingerprint region and functional group region. See this one, in between 1500 to 4000 centimeter inwards, all are what? Related to the functional groups or not? That's why this region is commonly called as functional group region. Below this region is commonly called as fingerprint region. This name indicates functional group. It means that what? Whatever the organic functional group we are having, in the organic functional group, different bonds are present. All the bonds are having particular vibration. Because of the vibrations, all the bonds are going to show some frequency or not. Those frequencies are appeared in this region. Now come to the next one, very very important one, that is what? Fingerprint region. We are familiar with the word called as fingerprint. What is the use of the fingerprint? The use is what? To identify a person or a organism. Why? Because in the earth planet, each and every organism fingerprint is different. If we have two twins, even though they are having 99% similarities, in the skin, in the face, in the body, whatever it may be. But the thumb impression will be what? The fingerprint will be what? Different or not? It means that what? You have two twins. If you want to identify the twins, what we need to do? We need to do fingerprint or not? It means that what? Two twins are having similar properties. Right? Similarly, the kind of concept is going to be applicable to chemistry also. In chemistry, we are having different molecules or not. Some of the molecules, molecular formula is same, but the structures are different. Those compounds or molecules are called as what? 
structurally closely related molecules or not simply we can say that isomers right see this one here we have one particular compound orthochlorophenol methachlorophenol and parachlorophenol three moieties are there these three molecules molecular formula is same same or not but the structures are different so if you see all these three molecules what kind of bonds we are observing aromatic carbon carbon bond and aromatic ch bond oh bond and ccl bond these are the four major bonds which are present or not it means that what whenever these three molecules are subjected to the ir spectra interpretation what the ir spectra will give c double bond c stretching frequency ch stretching frequency oh stretching frequency and ccl stretching frequency ir is giving this one only or not because of this reason what happens we cannot distinguish these three molecules by using the functional group region why because functional group region could not determine or could not distinguish structurally closely related molecules in order to distinguish these kind of molecules we are having the concept called as what fingerprint region see this one the fingerprint region is useful to distinguish structurally closely related molecules these kind of molecules are the di substituted meta di substituted and para di substituted in all the cases what happens the bending vibrations are different these are what stretching vibration the stretching vibrations are common in three cases already we had a discussion in case of the aromatic compounds mono substituted benzene and di substituted benzene in case of the di substituted benzene we have three types of substitutions ortho di substitution meta di substitution para di substitution in ortho di substitution we are getting only one peak meta di substitution we are getting two peaks para di substitution we will get one peak right it means that what by using the bending frequencies we can determine structurally closely related molecules that's why this region is commonly called as what fingerprint region the fingerprint region will consider what bending vibrations all the bending vibrations are takes place in this region only or not that's why the use of fingerprint region is what we can easily distinguish or we can easily identify the structurally closely related molecules okay here is one important concept related to the ir spectra interpretation suppose we have a sample right for that sample we have particular ir spectra by seeing that ir spectra can we identify whether the inter or intramolecular bond present in the sample or not yes we can identify by using the ir spectro it is very 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 important application of ir spectroscopy the ir spectroscopy is useful to distinguish inter and intramolecular hydrogen bond in present in the sample so how can we identify for that purpose what we are doing see this one already we know that if hydrogen bond is present in the sample the vibrational frequency will be less or not already we had a discussion on the factors influencing vibrational frequency okay already we know that hydrogen bonding is two types intermolecular and intramolecular intermolecule means what between the two molecules intramolecule means what hydrogen bond observed within the molecule this is commonly called as what intramolecular hydrogen bonding this is commonly called as what intermolecular hydrogen bond okay already we know that intermolecular hydrogen bonding is concentration dependent see this one intermolecular hydrogen bonding is directly proportional to the concentration the concentration increases means what intermolecular hydrogen bond strength increases once the hydrogen bonding strength increases means what vibrational frequency will decreases see this one here what we have observed 0.1 molar 0.01 molar 0.001 molar we have 
three different solutions of a particular sample. We have an unknown sample. For that unknown sample, we have a particular spectra. Now we need to analyze whether the intermolecular hydrogen bond is present in that spectra or not. How can we identify? Simply do the dilution. What we are doing? Dilution. Higher concentration, less, very less concentration. Right? And take the spectra of these three samples with 0.1 molar concentration, with 0.01 molar concentration, with 0.001 molar concentration. It means that what? We are going to get three different spectra or not? First, second and third. In the three spectra, if the values are changed, then we can say that the unknown sample must be having intermolecular hydrogen bonding. Why? What is the reason? Why the frequency value is changing? Why? Because by doing the dilution, what is happening? The concentration is going to be decreased or not? Concentration decreased means what? Intermolecular hydrogen bonding decreased or not? Hydrogen bonding decreased means what? Vibrational frequency increases. So, simply we can observe the intermolecular hydrogen bond in the unknown sample. Suppose, if you want to identify whether the intramolecular hydrogen bond is present in the sample or not, for that also we need to do the similar kind of situation. We need to prepare three samples, 0.1 molar, 0.01 molar and 0.001 molar. It means that what we are doing? We are decreasing the concentration or not? We are decreasing the concentration, right? In case of these kind of molecules, we are observing what? Intramolecular hydrogen bond. Intramolecular hydrogen bonding is independent on the concentration. It will not dependent on the concentration. So, intramolecular hydrogen bonding does not depend on the concentration. If it is not depending upon the concentration, what happens? There is no effect on the hydrogen bond or not. If the hydrogen bond is not changing, vibrational frequency will not be changed. It means that what? We have an unknown sample. For the unknown sample, we have a particular spectra. In that spectra, we need to identify whether the intermolecular hydrogen bond is present or not. How can we identify? For that unknown sample, we need to prepare three solutions. 0.1 molar, 0.01 molar, 0.001 molar. And take the spectra of three samples. We have three spectra and identify that OH peak. If the OH peak is going to have the same value in three spectra, then you can say that the unknown sample solution having intramolecular hydrogen bond. So, in this way, IR spectroscopy is useful to distinguish inter and intramolecular hydrogen bond present in the sample. Generally, in most of the cases, the hydrogen bonding is observed in what? Alcohols or not? So, in order to distinguish the alcohols also, we are having this particular situation. Okay? So, this is all about your functional group region, fingerprint region and how can we distinguish inter and intramolecular hydrogen bonding in a sample.